Hi, I'm Chris from Cambridge, and today I'm going to be talking about um, one of my favourite soft synths, the GeForce Imposca 2. I'm going to be talking through a few different sections of the synthesizer, primarily the oscillators, the filter, and the amplitude envelope generator. I'll be contrasting it to the simple synthesizer in the course materials as I go, and pointing out some of the important differences. Okay, so this is the user interface on the Imposca, and it's pretty intimidating. Um, so what I've done is I've highlighted uh, the relevant areas we'll be looking at uh, in different colours so that you can see what's going on. The oscillators here I've highlighted in red, the filter section is highlighted in green, and the amplitude envelope I've highlighted in blue. So, okay, to start off with we'll look at the oscillators. The Imposca has two oscillators that run in parallel. Um, and they can each be configured to use one of a number of different waveforms. The fairly traditional triangle, sawtooth, square wave, and pulse wave. Um, and the pulse width can be configured using this control down here. In addition to that, there's what they call a PWM wave, which is a pulse wave where the pulse width is being modulated automatically by the synthesizer. So you can see there's already some motion in that sound without needing to do anything yourself. Um, in addition to that there's a number of more complicated waveforms. There's an organ sound, a harpsichord, well sort of, um, what they call a strong lead, uh, a double pulse wave, what they call a gritty sound, and two user waveforms, which are configurable using this section down here, which allows you to set the amount of the fundamental and some or all of the upper partials of the sound as well. So you can customize the sound to I like whatever you'd like. The second oscillator has the same basic controls as the first, but you can also set its tuning relative to the first oscillator in octaves, um, in semitones, and according to a fine-tune detune. Um, the second control is really, really useful for creating sort of big chorusy sounds. You remember that the chorus effect is created by playing two slightly out-of-tune versions of the same sound together with each other. Well, you can you can use the detune knob here to, to do that in the synthesizer. Um, and finally, in the oscillators, there's a mix section which allows you to set the balance between the two oscillators and also mix in a bit of noise into the sound. Uh, in terms of the frequency of the oscillators, it's always tied to the MIDI note that's currently playing. Um, there's some modulation you can set up, but we'll not be talking about those uh, in this video. Okay, next up we have the filter section, and this is a little unusual. Uh, the Imposca 2 actually has two filters, and they can be configured in a number of different ways. First of all, there's our fairly standard low-pass, band-pass, and high-pass filters. Um, these are all 24 decibels per octave filters, and in this configuration the two filters are run in series, one after the other. Then after that there are three parallel modes, again a low pass, a band pass, and a high pass. Um, in this configuration the signal is split and routed to the two filters, which are then applied separately, and the signal is recombined afterwards. And finally there are a couple of mixed modes. There's a low pass and band pass low pass and high pass, and a band pass and high pass. And again, they've run in parallel, so the signal is split between the two filters and then recombined afterwards. Underneath the filter type, there's the Q setting, that's the resonance for the filter, and also the filter frequency. We can get our fairly conventional sort of filter sweep sounds. More interesting is this SEP control, and this sets the frequency of the two filters relative to each other. It sets the, the separation in semitones, and so if you sweep that... That can create some quite unusual warm and fat sounds that would be quite difficult to create with any other synthesizer. And finally we have the Amplitude ADSR section here. This is pretty simple. This is basically exactly the same as a th synthesizer in the course materials. There's the standard attack control. And a release control. Uh, 
and the the usual decay and sustain. So if I turn sustain level down. Again, it acts just like a, a normal ADSR envelope. Okay, well, that's everything for now. Hope that was interesting, and thanks for watching.